hi guys welcome back to our channel again so in the last google sheet related video tutorial we showed you how we can create a sheet which will pull the real-time stock data from google finance we used apple ticker and then later we used amazon ticker to pull all the values like company name then current price the opening price then closing price and today's high price low price and so on and later we actually saw to graph like six months trend the price and on year trend this type of thing and this template actually we can use for other stock also if we choose uh, other stock instead of apple ticker like amazon amzn or google stock or paypal stock we can do this thing and we used google finance to search some particular stock trigger okay so in this video we will not see this thing but we will see something different we will pull in this video uh, the historical data like one year data or two year data something like that okay so we will discuss that thing but uh, before starting the tutorial i will request you if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel or still if you didn't subscribe please subscribe to our channel and then let's get started okay so here i will create a new sheet i will not use this sheet so what i will do i will create a new sheet and suppose uh, we want to put this sheet name as history hist uh, stock history or something like that so we want to rename this thing so if you click this drop down then you will uh, see this type of pop-up menu and from there just click on rename and then type the desired rename so here i want to type like stock history okay so here we will pull all the stock history uh, and for ticker you can go google.com slash finance and then you can type any stock like a p p l apple stock then it will give you the ticker name of apple or if you wish some other thing you can also do the same thing you can put like amzn you can also do that okay so our goal is to pull all the historical data of apple okay something like that so what we have to do we have to use this ticker always ticker is important we need ticker without ticker we cannot do anything uh, let me copy the apple ticker name so we can copy by selecting the text or double click it will auto select and then right click and then choose copy then uh, this apple ticker will be copied now go to google sheet so here we want to uh, pull all the historic data like one year let me if, uh, show you at first like one week data later we will change okay so let me show you on week data and then we will modify like one year and six months something like that okay so for any type of stock uh, related data from google finance we have to use on method and the method name starts with google finance okay so to pull that thing in this cell what we have to do we have to type equal sign first and then we have to call that method right so we have to type google finance so if we type uh, type g double o then it will show us all the list of the function name like google finance or something like this okay so we will use google finance so i'm just clicking uh, return or enter key and then it will auto complete the google finance okay so after that we have to put the ticker name uh, for apple stock the ticker name is aapl okay so we have to type there so to type here inside uh, google finance method we have to put first double quote first always and then inside this we have to type the ticker name so we copied the ticker name so we can right click and we can paste it and it will paste apple okay so once we type apple then what we have to do we have to put the price okay because we are trying to pull all the historic price so i'm going to type again uh, comma and then after that we have to type quotation double quote and inside it we have to type price because we are going to pull all the price okay put a comma again and then type the next argument now we have to put the date range okay so from when to which date right we have we want to pull the data suppose we want to pull the data uh, let make it simple like from the beginning of this month okay so we have to type date here okay da date and then we have we can choose from there also date once you click date it will show you that we, at first we need to put year 
month and day value okay so we'll put all the value so at first i'm putting the year 2020 then after that that we have to put the month okay so this is april month so i'm putting april and then today's uh, date not today's it will be like one i want to check data from the beginning of this month till today okay and then comma then uh, we can put again another date uh, till today but instead of there is another method we can use the today method also so see if you type tod it will pop up the uh, function or method today we can use that so i'm going to click, click here and then i'm going to close the parenthesis and finally the whole thing we started parenthesis we have to close the parenthesis and once we close this thing just type enter and it, just wait and you will see it pulled all the stock price value beginning from the month of april till today see here it is pulling all the value right so this is april 1 and this is april 23 today is 23 3rd april as i am recording today's date this is this time and it is pulling all the data all everything okay so in this way uh, it pulls all the data and the command or syntax it's a long syntax i will put this syntax at the down of the video description if you wish you can copy and use it okay so this is like for this month's data okay and if you want to uh, pull some data suppose i want to pull uh, last one year data so what i have to do we have to change here right so here we have to put we have to change the year to 2019 right and for one for example today's 20 Three, right we saw that today 23 so we can put 23 then it will pull all one year data and once you type this hit return or enter key and just wait and see the magic so this is 23rd uh, april 2019 price 207 dollar okay and if you go down and we'll see here 423 this is two days date okay and you see that it pulls all the value right it is pulling all the value all the trading days value not holiday okay so it is pulling all the value so in this way you can easily pull all the historic data using google finance same way you can also try five years also so suppose i want to pull data to the 15 for example uh, 15 till today okay so beginning from like january um, 0 01 and uh, 0 01 okay and then hit enter or return key and just wait and see the magic and it pulls all the data so here it starts from 1 2 till today's date okay so it is pulling all the data january 2nd 2015 till today it pulled all the data so in this way uh, you can easily pull all the historic data using uh, this google sheet okay so in this video i just showed you this thing and in the next video i'll show you how you can uh, create a graph or chart using uh, this data so that's all for today and fully by watching this video you know how we can pull data or that means how we can get the historic data like one year six months one week or one uh, five years something like that uh, in this way you can easily we just need to use this function uh, the function is pretty big but it's easy also it's very simple uh, we have to use google finance function and inside it we have to put the method uh, the ticker name apple or and then price then date and if you want to pull other stock value just change the ticker name suppose i want to uh, pull uh, the amazon stock a m z n this is the ticker of amazon and then hit enter key or return key and then just wait and you will see it is pulling all the value see uh 2015 Jan uh, january 2nd the apple price was uh, sorry the amazon price was 308 dollar and if you go to today's price you will see huge so 23rd of this month is almost 2500 it's still not 2500 but 2399 uh, so it's a huge earning okay if you have on stock at that time now you earn a lot of money so anyway so hopefully you all this video and you can easily uh, create this type of historic data report uh, using google sheet so thank you for watching and i would request you if you feel that this video is useful for you please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you still don't subscribe then please 
hit the subscribe button and if you are new i will be happy if you subscribe to our channel and hopefully you will share this video with your friends or someone else and you will be benefited using this video thank you for watching see you in the next video